Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you the ABAP profiler. The ABAP profiler is an ABAP tracing tool that has been integrated into the ABAP development tool, so ADT in the IDE Eclipse. It is available for all executable ABAP code, for example, global classes or ABAP unit tests. Starting from the ABAP trace, so the results of the ABAP profiler, you can analyze the performing, analyze program flow and analyze the database access. So enjoy this video and let's get started. Before starting the ABAP profiler, first of all, I would like to show you a nice transaction within the SAP GUI and it's the SAT transaction. Um, once you have started the runtime analysis, here you have a button called tips and tricks. If we click there, here you have the possibility to measure the performance for different categories, for different programs itself. So for example, if we go into internal tables and double click on one node, then on the left hand side you will see a program or a snippet and a compared program on the right side. And if you click on measure runtime, here you will see the measured runtime. Okay, in this case, both zero microseconds. But if we, for example, go to a SQL interface, for example, this one, click on measure runtime, here you will see um, what is the outcome basically. So how long does it take to execute this code snippet and how long does it take to uh, do the um, recommended version. So the column update in this side. So yeah, um, here you can also see the global variables that are used within this because you unfortunately you can't just simply copy and paste the code because then the variables are missing but um, yeah you can um, you can use it and that is what we're going to use within the ABAP profiler. So we switch back to the uh, Eclipse IDE. Here um, I have copied this code from the SAT example coding um, to show you basically what the ABAP profiler can trace and can analyze. Because the ABBA profiler um, is started directly from the ABBA program itself. So you have to go within the tree structure to your, to your node, to your program, and then you right click there. And then maybe it's a little bit hidden, but it's so useful and so advanced feature. You have the functionality profile as and then you have to choose ABAP application console and boom then this pop-up will open up where you can basically um, yeah, set up the trace parameters um, if you would like to adjust your tracing to one specific settings and stuff like that but basically within here you have uh, the aggregation settings so in this setting you specify how the profiler handles repeat Repeated executions, for example, repeated calls of the same method. And you have three options. So basically no aggregation, um, a large file size, all tools are available. And then the uh, partial aggregation, so per call statement. And then we have a medium file size, a call sequence is not available. And you can choose a full aggregation, the smallest file size, um, but then the aggregated call tree is not available. Then we have the statement granularity so therefore um, in this section you can specify how granular the measurement will be and then you have also a lot of uh, options so procedural unit sql um, with internal tables uh, only procedural units or some custom statements um, as you want to and you have also um, your start option. So if you would like to start it immediately or explicitly uh, switched on and off, for example, within the debugger um, for, for breakpoints or stuff like that. And you have also some advanced parameters 
and stuff like that. If you would like to get to know more information about one single trace parameter, put it in the comment sections and then I can elaborate a little bit on this side. So, but uh, normally the standard parameters are perfectly fine in my opinion and then you click on finish. And then right now nothing happens uh, because you have to switch uh, your view within the uh, Eclipse. Uh, here I have already um, opened the perspective, but in your case, if the upper profiling view, the perspective is not available, then you can click on open perspective and then you can choose ABAP profiling. By the way, with the F2 key, you can get uh, within here the detail description, but we need the perspective ABAP profiling. Then you click on open and here you can see different views. So on the right side there, you can see your detail view. So in this case, the properties, you can also switch to um, uh, console. Yeah, by the way, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much, <laughs> do not miss great upcoming videos. And then down here you see um, the trace view. By the way, if you have opened this up and you don't see any traces right now, um, you can also refresh the list of traces with the F5 key or with this button to be sure to have um, your current view. And within here you have basically uh, the editor view where you can also make some changes. Um, you can also start the ABBA profiler here with the profile as and then you can also uh, choose profile as and then ABAP application console then you can uh, maybe restart or create another ABAP profile and trace analyzers. But here we are and here you can see uh, my started ABAP profiles and if you would like to um, open and analyze your ABAP coding then you have to double click on one entry. So in this case, the last created one. Then basically this will open up. So this is the overview of your ABAP profile where you have some general information, uh, a some kind of hyperlinks to the analysis tools and the runtime distribution. And within here, different tabs where you can call and see um, the different tools. Uh, what is important here within the runtime distribution, there you can see um, uh, within ABAP, so the runtime spent processing ABAP code and not including ABAP system programs, then the database, the runtime spent in the database performing database operations and within the system, the runtime spent processing ABAP code in system programs. As mentioned, here you have different analyzers tools. So the condensed hit list that shows the top consumers aggregated to cold units, method, forms, etc. If you click on the hyperlink, then you will jump down here. And then as mentioned, you can see uh, the, um, the, the time and the calls about your program. And uh, if you also would like to switch to another tool, then you can click down here to maybe move to the hit list. So where you have some kind of different um, you know, view and you can also go to the aggregated call tree um, that allows you to analyze the sequence in which procedural units were called. You have also the aggregated timeline um, based on different colors, database access um, and so on. You can also go to the call sequence, the call timeline and the database accesses. And yeah, here you have so many useful tools. And I could talk um, hours about all those tools. And if you would like to get to know more on one specific tool, if you would like to um, have explained the different columns and stuff like that, put them in the comment sections. I can produce an own video about this. But on this side, yeah, if you really would like to trace and to analyze your coding, I can recommend the ABAP profiler. And maybe this is one reason to use Eclipse IDE also for ABAP development. Um, it's 
worth trying and yeah by the way if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any questions left put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video